Hello everyone, my name is John Amos Kalminos. That is my Latin name that I learned at the religious school. And it is different than my Sizak name, as I was born in Moravia, in Bohemia. And I have fled many places due to war. The Catholic Church wanted us to all become Catholics, yet I am Protestant. I do believe in the unity of the Lutherans and the Calvinists and all the liberal forms of Christianity, and that's why I work in the unity of the church as a bishop. My work is centered on pastoral reforms. I understand that every single person, especially when they're children, they are made in the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are to be valued. I had corporal punishments be put on me as a child, and I absolutely hated that. I don't want no child to go through that. Children need to learn through play, and that's why I have created curriculums for children to learn through play. I wrote an autobiography called The Labyrinth of the World and The Paradise of the Heart heart because I want people to acknowledge that once we have the paradise in the heart, once we are satisfied with ourselves and we are generous with our education, we allow it to everyone from the exiles to the orphans, we will have a wholesome society that will lead us to the kingdom of heaven where God ultimately lays. I am an educator for a lot of local churches in Europe. I have traveled all throughout Europe. I've lived in Hungary, Poland, and many other countries. I, eventually, I settled in Amsterdam. I wrote 200 books for humanity to learn from. And one of my books was The Principles of a Simpler Approach to Grammar because I believed that every person should learn their native language. And everybody in Europe had a classical language called Latin. And Latin could be taught from the to the Sizek exiles, all the way to the orphans. Many of my man's manuscripts were found in German orphanages because I truly cared for children, especially when they were abandoned. I believed in language learning that was centered around the reforming of schools, books, and methodology in publishing the books. Kids need better from adults. And as someone of the church, I want kids to learn the interdisciplinary form of knowledge, religion, politics, and education all in one. I wanted people to continue their education and do well financially, and that's why I created a Pentophic college believing in universal education. I am credited with starting the Royal English Society which focuses on mathematics and natural sciences because physics and the creation of the world is part of the biblical agenda. I, as a pastor first, then as bishop now, really want the biblical agenda to prevail. Not because it is supreme, but it is, but because it aligns with our learning instinct as people. And I want you to focus on the individual needs of each child because each child is unique. We need a liberal education. And after school activities that promote the continued learning of children and adults equally. Children are not born with the original sin and they should not be beaten with sticks and harsh edges to become so-called pure. Children are innocent and they can learn just as well. That's why I put photos in picture books. That's why I put photos in textbooks to make them picture books so the children can be engaged. They need to be revived through education. They are born good, wanting knowledge, and school should not be barren, beating the learning instinct out of them. We need to get rid of this mainstream belief that children should be beaten in schools, especially since the original sin doesn't teach us to hate our fellow little people. I wrote a book called The Visible World in Pictures, and this was all about putting pictures in textbooks, and a lot of my textbooks, I wrote them so that everybody can access them, because... I believed in full-time schooling. 
where local children can learn about the European culture because everybody has culture. God created us different, but he created us in the same breath that he has breathed into the best of our people. I emphasize education with all the five senses and the social reforms of education. And in the end, I want to be remembered as not just a father of modern education, but as someone who truly cared for the welfare of children, as someone who wanted the children to learn through their eyes, not just through their ears. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the legacy that I have left behind as John Amos Communist. Thank you.